Okay, so last week I put out a video on these clips here in order to mount my bug out bag properly, uh, keep it secure, wrap around the headrest posts in my vehicle. And gentleman at Adventure Outdoors by the name of Steve said, Hey Tom, nice tip. You might want to think about uh, reviewing the contents of your bug out bag. And so, so here I go. Okay, bug out bag, get home bag. Uh, show you this first. These are Grimlocks. These are an awesome piece of equipment. Little plastic things. You can get six or 12 of them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. But uh, use these to mount things to the outside of the bag. Here's some paramedic shears. Over on this side, if I pull this out, undo that Grimlock. I secure that with some parachute cord. And this is Tonto knife from 1986. Awesome knife, one of the best I've ever purchased. So let's go through the bag here. Undo the compression straps. So about every six months, I'll go through this bag, maybe maybe nine months. Just make refamiliarize myself with what I've got in there, see if anything needs to be replaced. Other than that, I keep it in my vehicle. Uh, got some parachute cord bound up. Anything that's small, well, if I want to group a lot of items, I just use Ziploc bags. Got a Sharpie. First aid kit. It's got a tourniquet in there as well. I have tourniquets everywhere. Small keychain light. Nothing else in there. Go up here. Uh, speed loader. 100 rounds of ammunition. And that's that. Get a little deeper here. Large bag. Got... Couple light sticks, two small rolls of that. Gotta have that. Solar blanket, cheap poncho. And if you think about it, these things aren't made to use long term in terms of light sticks. Uh, I've got wipes in there. You can go to Dollar General and buy this stuff load that up. This isn't for long-term uh, survival or anything like that. Natural disaster, get me home if I need anything. It's a monocular. Something else down in here. Hand sanitizer. Got a tube here, watertight tube for three, one, two, three batteries. Three more white night sticks or light sticks, glow sticks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, another hundred rounds of ammunition. You can barter with that stuff too. Safety glasses wrapped in a microfiber towel. That. Now let's get down to the main compartment. Got a hat. Two more one, two, three batteries, which are for this tactical flashlight. Surefire. Along with some break free CLP, cleaning, lubricating weapons. It's got a pen light on it, glass breaker, pen, and two AA batteries from a EOTech. Got rid of that EOTech, so I guess I could take those batteries out of there. 
Here I've got a knife sharpener. This is really cool from County Com. This is a uh, this is a let me see if I can get in here. Little shortwave radio, like twenty bucks. I used a shortwave radio when we were in the Gulf. Fantastic. A couple more AA batteries. I guess I can lose those. No, actually, I'll keep those because those are for the the uh, radio. A cheap but very useful multi-tool and a knife. Some duct tape. And in here, got wipes, some heat warmers, two lighters, uh, some foam earplugs, some bug juice. And more, more gear plugs. And over here on the outside, I've got two mag carriers for a Glock. And that's what I carry in my bug out bag.